Hello, everyone. Thank you for attending today's Training Tuesday webinar. I am Heidi Reese with the Dayton Superior Simons Marketing Training Department, and uh, I'm sitting here with Tyler Shaner, and we're both excited to be able to provide short, insightful trainings each week and hope that you are enjoying each of our product experts and learning a lot from these. Uh, their knowledge on various products and services are stellar, in my opinion. Hopefully, you agree. And if there's a topic that you would like to see, just let me know, either through the Zoom chat functionality today, or you can contact uh, uh, me and Chuck Hoke at the training at DaytonSuperior.com. Again, that's training, T-R-A-I-N-I-N-G, at DaytonSuperior.com. So let's get going with some housekeeping. Um, we've muted everybody on the call so that there are no disturbances and everyone can enjoy and listen in. And, but um, if you want to ask a question, please do so uh, through the chat functionality in Zoom. Um, by doing that, we'll have a small mini, you know, five minute session at the end and Tyler can address those. Um, at the end of the presentation, um, we will be discussing those topics, those questions, and I uh, just want to let you know, we are also recording this, and so you can re-listen re to it later, or you can pass it along to a friend. I'll send an email letting you know when it is available. <clears throat> so just, you know, we normally say this presentation is intended for training purposes only. Just so you're aware of anything that you see in the presentation, please go to the DaytonSuperior.com website and you can find technical data sheets as well as safety data sheets. All of the material is available there and uh, you need to reference that for the products that we show through this presentation. Okay, so in today's topic, we're going to hear, like I said, from the Director of Engineering, which uh, is Tyler Shainer. He's going to be talking about the Simons Maxiform system. And Tyler is the Director of Engineering for, Sorm for Simons Forming and obviously one of our top product experts for Simons. You might have heard him two weeks ago when he was talking about the engineering services for the forming side of the business. Uh, just to let you know a little bit about him, he has a BS in the civil engineering from Iowa State University and rounds that out for the business side with a master's degree. He has worked in this industry for over 26 years, and I think he is a fantastic resource for forming projects, products, and of course the engineering services component. So Tyler, walk us through that power of red. All right, thank you, Heidi. And uh, again, I'm really happy to be here uh, to talk about one of our more exciting product lines and Maxform STS. It is one of our core lines that we consider here with the Simons Forming Business. It's an all steel product, uh, tremendous strength, uh, very versatile, really separates itself in the marketplace. So I'm, I'm happy to be able to talk to you about it. We're a high level. Again, these are, these are quick discussions. Um, I'll be getting through several slides uh, uh, this afternoon and uh, if you miss something or want to see something more, uh, Heidi will let you know at the end where you can find the presentation. Um, so we'll be talking a little bit about the history of uh, self-spanning and forming real quick and then get into the basics of our Maxform STS, uh, including nomenclature, uh, some high-level uh, details about the system, talk about the key accessories, and then finally round it out with some pictures of applications that we've used the system in. So first up will be a little bit of the, the history. Obviously, if you think about bridge caps and self-spanning where this system is used, uh, you know, back in the day it was done with wood and a lot of shoring. So what did that mean? You can imagine the amount of time and labor and cost associated with doing it in that manner. As we went forward, you know, in the early mid eighties, we started to see such as our old style Maxiform system, introduction of all steel self-spanning equipment. And that allowed contractors to start to gang big units together and form these, these larger caps and structures such as this without the shoring, without that additional labor and time. And then as, as they do, engineers, architects started designing much larger uh, structures spanning larger distances, bigger footprints, and so on, that, that brought us back to what we've seen over the last 10 to 15 years 
Now you're getting back into more heavy duty shoring, uh, more custom requirements where the old style Maxiform and, and products that are similar couldn't handle those larger structures without some additional support. So we're back to, you know, it doesn't look like a really big difference, but you're talking about additional equipment, custom, you know, that also includes lead time for that custom, heavy duty shore frames and so on. All equals higher cost for that contractor, longer time to do a structure. So internally, uh, we started to look at our, our system that we had, Maxiform, said, what can we do with this system? And essentially what we've done is gone back to the way it was before, right? Um, with Maxiform SDS, very strong system, and you're starting to get rid of those, those requirements for the heavy duty shoring, shoring, a lot of the custom requirements. So in a nutshell, that history of how we got to be where we are now at the Maxform SCS, that's, that's where we're at. So back in 2012, 2013 is when we really started to look at our, our internal system uh, and upgrade it to SDS. Some of the information about SDS, what we've done with our older system, it's 30% higher in both moment and pore pressure capacities. So 2000 PSF for, for the majority of the system now versus 1500 is where it was before. We have tested it at uh, rated, rated loads and had deflections of less than L over 360. So it's extremely stiff system uh, uh, with high pore pressure rating and uh, tremendous uh, uh, moment capacities. In addition to that, uh, a lot of the dimensions, the whole patterns, they're similar to our old style Maxiform, which, mean, which means it can be used with a lot of our other accessories, our current accessories, uh, and our other systems that we have in the fleet. Another look at it, uh, just one of the sizes you can see there, the six foot W by eight foot. So you're looking at the back side of the panel there and that drawing on the bottom. Uh, you've got vertically what are called L stiffeners. Those used to be Z stiffeners. They're called Z stiffeners because they look like a Z. In this case, we've changed that design to, to more of an L. We also added to, to help with deflection, uh, versatility and strength of the system, continuous backup stiffeners. You can see they run horizontally. And then the face sheet, we did do a change in that as well to get the uh, higher capacity. Some of the basics of the system, the panels, <clears throat> you can see we've got a top and bottom rail. Vertically in the interior of that frame are the cross, what we call cross members. Those are those L-shaped cross members that go vertically. And then you have the going horizontally, the continuous backup flats. So in this case, this is actually a 12 foot W by eight foot. The W, which I'll explain a little bit more here, in a couple slides is the width of the panel, the eight foot is the length. The width of that panel uh, is essentially the length of those cross members, those L cross members that are running vertically. So this panel that you see here is 12 foot from bottom rail to top foot, to the top rail, sorry, and then eight foot horizontally across the page. Real quick look at the face sheet here, and I, I highlight this, you'll see this in the next few slides. Something that we did for production, as well as quality uh, and, and accuracy of the panels, is we introduced what we call tab and slot technology uh, in production. So uh, the, the face sheet has a slot that accepts a tab that comes in from, whether that be the top bottom rail, uh, the, the the L uh, cross members or the backup flats uh, all go into a slot that's into this face sheet. So those are all laser cut. So you can imagine the accuracy helps a great deal with production efficiency and quality of that finished product. Here's just a quick look at the rails, the outside of the frame. Again, uh, up there in the top right, you can see the typical tab that'll go into the corresponding slot uh, that was in that face sheet. Uh, the side rail there, you can see we use our standard just like on the old style, uh, Maxiform, the holes in the slots, every three inches on center. So similar to the existing system that was in the past. 
sorry. Uh, the stiffener uh, that we talked about, um, there you can see the L cross member as well. Uh, again, a little closer look. Some of the units have a couple tabs on them to, to accept uh, the face sheet. So on the bottom right, you can see the face sheet and get a little look at the, the tab into that. So the accuracy of that laser production uh, helps this and you can see in production there in the top right, uh, a little bit of how these are put together. So it, it helps a great deal in production. As you may know, uh, the system is used a great deal in, in self-spanning, meaning that uh, it spans across, you know, from column to column of a, a bridge cap without any support underneath it. So no shoring uh, underneath it in, in most cases. What allows that is a girder block and the bolts that we use, which you'll see in the accessories here in a minute. So on the right side is the girder block on the inside of the rails of the system, the inside of the frame, that's a really key uh, part of the, the Maxform STS system. Tie box there, you can see over the left-hand side as well. So as a whole, the system has uh, just over 50 standard panel sizes. Uh, the width, as we talked about before, uh, you can see there the width, if you have an 8W panel, 8-foot W panel, that is essentially the length of the cross members. So you can see on that panel that's standing there, uh, the cross members are vertical. That's the width of the panel. So you can see all of our standard widths, two foot, two foot six, and then all the way up to 12 foot. We do have a nine foot, which is, is a non-standard width, but we can make that as well. And you can see the length goes horizontally in this case across. So Essentially, that's counting every one of those spaces in between the cross members and the rails to get what size, what length of a panel that is. So if you count there, you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. That's the length of that panel. So this could be an eight foot W by six foot panel in this case. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. You can see in the bottom of this panel, the two holes that are there, those are the tie hole locations. There'll be a slide here in a, in a second that'll show you where those are located as well. So here are the ties, uh, tie locations on a different length of the panel. Again, you're talking about length of the panel is horizontally across this page. Uh, you're basically seeing the face sheet of the panel in this case to show you where the ties are. You can see the ties are every four foot is pretty general uh, depending on, on the, the length of the panel. The STS panels are designed uh, for tie placement, the panel will span from tie to tie the length of the cross member. So if it's, a, it's an eight foot W, this panel will span that entire eight foot length with one tie and then the tie and the next panel to it. So that's why you're seeing, in this case, only the ties on the bottom. If you imagine a panel that was stacked on top of it, there'd be a tie in, that, in the bottom of the panel that's sta uh, stacked on top. Some of the key accessories, um, as we went up in capacity, we also had to take a look at some of the, some of the accessories and upgrade them as well. Um, the outside uh, angle corner, the outside corner here you can see is a four by four by half inch steel angle that we punch in the slots and the holes to correspond to the panel. The girder bolts, uh, again, a key item that I talked about before with, with the self-spanning cap uh, capability. That's a one by four inch A490. And then a handling hook that we came up with just for helping to shake out at the job site as well. Another accessory that we've come up here recently in the last couple of years is the, uh, the STS moment fillers. So in some cases in caps, uh, again, going back to architects and engineers that don't like an even width, they'll come up with nine foot three inches wide or eight foot six inches wide. We now have uh, standard moment fillers to, to make up that gap in the soffits of the caps. Tie systems, again, due to the higher pore pressure capacity, we did upgrade our standard taper ties for the system uh, called the Super Taper Ties. Those have a 64,000 pound safe working load at two to one. So those ultimates are 128,000 pounds. 
They use the uh, same tie plate on either ends, 32 millimeter. And then the Super She Bolt as well, um, that has a standard capacity of 56,000. And we can also get up to that 64,000 pounds uh, with some notice if we need to. Um, we don't see that extremely often with the She Bolt, but when, when we have to, we do have that capability. A real exciting uh, accessory for STS is the 300 KIPP support system. So this is a standard system that was designed specifically, again, for STS. And you think back to those larger structures, the bigger spans, the longer spans, the bigger caps equals more load, right? So we had to have a, a higher capacity uh, support system to handle those loads. And instead of making that custom every time, we came up with a standard 300 KIPP support bracket, which you see there. It is the highest rated rentable support system in the market today, so really helps us out there. Um, the only purchase items that you have on this are the embeds, the plastic caps, and the shim packs, if they're required. So we limit the amount of actual sales that you have to have uh, for the system. Most of it is rentable. And you'll see here in a minute the column adapters to allow for any circular uh, applications as well. It may be hard to see on your screen here, but these are just two applications real quick to see the 300 kip on the left. You can see it mounted to a, a square rectangular shape structure on the right side is circular. And what we do is attach uh, a standard adapter column adapter bracket. Uh, we have three different sizes based on the radius or, or circumference of that circular structure that it attaches to. So it helps reduce greatly uh, the amount of uh, sales or purchase cost to a customer. There you can see some of the actual parts, the bracket. There's a column adapter, the bottom left. Uh, we also have a 300 kip sand jack. Obviously, we can think of trying to release uh, the amount of load that are on these at times. Uh, so the sand jack helps with that. Uh, and then the other accessories that come along with the system. Okay, now the fun stuff where this is actually applied. Um, it, you know, one one area where Maxform STS really shines is on walls. Um, it, you can see in this application, um, the cross members are horizontal, uh, left to right on the page, which, as you recall, I, I stated a little bit ago, the system is made to span across that distance. So you can see the ties are really spaced out here. And with the high uh, rated capacity of the system, you get a really, really good finish at the end here. So a really good area for STS are on, on your big tall walls. Columns is another area. Uh, if you think about, again, you can see in some of these uh, pictures, if you look at them on these columns, the, the cross members are going horizontal again. So it's spanning from end to end of that panel. So in a column application, we can actually do columns tieless up to 12 foot by 12 foot. Uh, so depending on what these are, there are no ties within those columns. Caps, this is where a lot of people associate STS Maxiform with, with self-spanning. So some smaller caps here, some hammerhead caps, crash wall caps uh, in the bottom right there, multiple multiple stem caps. Uh, in this application now, you're, you're wanting to uh, put this into a full moment capacity or self-spanning um, type of application. You can see now that the cross members are vertical. And when they go vertical, we use the, that girder bolt uh, the, and the girder block that are within the frame, and that, that helps us make this continu con con continuous beam. Excuse me. <clears throat> Going to much larger caps. So this is where and why we designed the system uh, Maxform STS. So some of these are very large caps, as you can see. Um, Two, two panels high in some cases, you can see on the bottom right. The bottom left is actually using uh, the 300 KIPP system, 
uh, with the adapters on them for the round columns. And uh, if you can look there, you see two on one side. So there are four 300 kit brackets on one column, two columns. So our system right there has 2.4 million pounds of capacity for support. So uh, this is where you really start to see the power and the strength of STS and its system as a whole with the 300 kit bracket. Some other uses, again, to, to some columns, multi-level columns. Uh, on the left and, and right there is a, a column going vertical that also has an interior structure, so max form on the outside and on the inside. Specific applications around the country, down in Texas, uh, and on the bottom there, you can see we've been talking about self-spanning, not using shoring, but there are applications such as that the horseshoe job there in Dallas that requires a combination. You know, you've got to use the strength of, of STS in some locations, bring in some custom to form uh, the structure as required. And uh, in this case, we couldn't get the, the moment capacity, so we had to bring in some, some shoring into that. But that's where the application design comes into play still use the system for the great finish and its strength and bring in other product lines. A couple other applications, really tall, 100 foot tall Maxform STS columns, used for the majority of it, a, a custom corner in that case to, to form those columns. And on the bottom there, you can see that's the I-90 in Cleveland, uh, you can see Again, STS used for the majority, along with a little bit of custom underneath, some form liner and some reveals. More large caps, tap and Z bridge, and then an extremely challenging project, uh, the Riyadh Metro in Saudi Arabia. And something you can't forget is, is really the versatility of the system. It's used in several other large large projects, dams, water facilities, lift stations. You go to power plants such as steam turbine generators and cokers. Uh, the span, the self-spanning capability and its strength uh, and pore pressure uh, really helps uh, form those structures in, a, in an efficient manner, as well as special applications. So. If you look on this one page, you've got STS along with soldier, steel ply, aluminum beams, whalers. Uh, so it, it, it's a great system to be used with the full line of products. So as I said at the beginning, you know, STS is one of our core systems. You can definitely see it through the type of applications that we use it in. It's, it's very strong, uh, highly versatile in what it's able to do. And I, I guess if, if someone would ask me to Define power of red STS would definitely be at the forefront of that discussion. So that's what I've got. Yeah. Thank you, Heidi. I agree. That's why I said show us the power of red. So thanks, Tyler. Just real quick, while you guys, if you have any questions, you can con or put them into the chat functionality in Zoom. Um, got a couple resources available to you. The contact information can be found on danesperry.com. Just go to the about us, and you will see very similar to what you have for the right. Um, in addition, we've got product and system pages. Uh, what you're looking up there is if you do a search for Maxiform STS, you'll see a bunch of things come back. I've only shown you three. And then the Maxiform forming system there. In addition, we've got the tech data sheets, a lots of available for the accessories that he shows you as well as the system itself. There's an example of one there on the bottom left. The other words basically show you some of the, the technical data sheets available to you. In addition, we've got a brochure on it, and then we also have the application guide, and then I can't let you go away without telling you about some training. So Tyler had mentioned that I would let you know where to find past ones or even this one. Uh, if you just do a search on our DaytonSuperior.com website for product videos, and there's also links everywhere, but just search product videos and you get to all of the training Tuesdays this one, once it's on YouTube, it will get out there as well. And of course, I'll send you a note letting you know. 
But if you find that this is just an introductory and you really want to have much more uh, available to you, we can send Chuck Hoke out to your area or uh, you can contact us and get something customized and learn about Maxiform or any of our accessories or chemicals and contact training at DaytonSuperior.com. I started the conversation with that email, so you can contact us through that. And then with that, is there any questions? And again, if you have any ideas that you want to throw out there for Training Tuesdays or something you want to see, love to hear about it. Just send it to us on training at DaytonSuperior.com and I'll, we can figure it out. Okay, well, I've already said it a couple times, but I'll just reiterate, these are recorded, and so you can go back and listen to them and then see them and, uh, you know, push them to a friend if they need to hear and, and understand about the Maxiform SDS. Um, we do these every Tuesday. We'll have one next week on the highlight system, so that's going to be exciting. And just remember that um, we're here with all different subject matters and experts, so we're doing more forming this month, and then we'll take a break for the holidays, and then we'll be back at it for the new year. So if there's no questions, thanks for joining today, and as usual, everybody have a happy Tuesday. Bye.